One of the significant challenges facing Makwadi as an urban centre is its poor road network. Underdevelopment and inadequate planning have rendered certain streets impassable during the rainy season, hindering vehicular movement. In response, a new movement has emerged where youth in various communities are stepping up to take responsibility for fixing their streets, viewing it as a collective duty to improve their neighbourhoods. As youth, we also have impact in the society, not just for other social or other things, activities to do, but can also try to make sure that our community are safe, our roads are good, and maybe other things also are good for people to kind of like maze of them. But once our roads and our streets are safe, it's been a while here, you see there's erosion, if you look around, there's erosion. So we are trying to like, try to fill in the potholes and the places that have washed away so that cars and bikes can also pass. Many blame town planners and developers for the unchecked construction of buildings, which they say is contributing to the persistent flooding parts of Makodi. Okay, look at it. There are no drainages. There are no drainages. And from the way they have built, I don't see any possibility of they do not even have any intention of constructing drainages. And without that, that is it's because of um, erosion. That's why they always get this. So if there were some kind of like drainage canal, then we wouldn't have had this kind of in this point, in this place now. The recent dry spell has motivated local youth to take action and improve their road network. They argue that it is a necessity as the residents are the primary beneficiaries. The community members don't come out again because they leave the whole work for the government to come to their community and do those access work. And as you can see, if the government does not visit your place for over years, maybe like 10, 8 days, your, the whole place will be, will be dilapidated with gullies and everything. And if it's called even your fence, you no longer have to see it. But the government can't come to your community and do all those things for you because it will not affect them, it is affecting us. And you can see this thing is affecting us in such a way that cars cannot come in. Governor High Centralia has pledged to repair the streets of Makwadi. While construction is underway in some parts of the town, youth in flood prone areas are taking matters into their own hands, creating makeshift rules to keep their communities accessible. Jimmy Azande, Trust TV News, Makwadi.